with five weeks to go in the election season, anything can happen. So this race, I think, is too close to call at this point. I mean, depending on which poll you look at, the race is in a dead heat. Some polls show McConnell with a little bit of a lead. Some polls show Allison with about a point lead. So all that tells me is that anything can happen between now and Election Day. What I think this comes down to um, are women, women candidates and women voters. And in the U.S. Senate race in particular, um, Allison has to reach out even more to women voters. Women make up 53% of the electorate in Kentucky, and with their help, Allison can become the first female United States Senator from the Commonwealth. And that goes true all the way down the ballot with Elizabeth Jensen here in Lexington running against Andy Barr for Congress. She'd be the first Democratic woman in Congress, down to the 14 Democratic women running for the State House. Women can make the difference in this year's elections for the Democratic Party. And I think you're going to see women voters come home to the Democratic Party because they know that electing women will make a difference not only in the lives of women, but in the lives of our families. Well, it is true. I mean, the polls speak for themselves that, you know, there's no commanding lead on the women voter um, by Allison Lundington Grimes or even Senator McConnell. But, and the fact that that's a 50-50 split is in the senator's favor, quite honestly. Um, and I think that he'll continue to show his experience, still continue to show that he is good for Kentucky, um, and that his uh, record speaks for itself as it relates to what women are interested in, which is, you know, fiscal responsibility, uh, education, um, you know, health care issues, because they are the ones that make those decisions in, in the home, at least in my house, that's the way it is, and I have four women at home. So um, I will tell you that I think he will continue to uh, beat the drum that he is good for Kentucky, where Allison might be good for Barack Obama and good for the Democrats in D.C. Um, it's going to be 70 years since we've had a Kentuckian lead our state from the U.S. Senate. And I think that's significant. I think people want that opportunity for the state to shine, and they'll do that if Senator McConnell is elected in the fall, which I think he will be. I think at the end of the day, people are most concerned about their, uh, their pocketbook um, issues. So they're, they're concerned about um, the middle class with growing as opposed to dwindling as it has been um, over these past few, uh, few decades. And so what people are going to be focused on, I believe, going forward is uh, focused on how will Allison Grimes help me and my family prosper and, 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 and thrive in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And so by her focusing on raising the minimum wage, by making sure that there's uh, e the equal pay for equal work for women, uh, that that be done, that making sure that veterans, once they've served us uh, amiably, amiably in the, in the uh, field of, uh, of battle, when they come home, that they can receive the training that they need to be able to provide for their families further. I think those are going to be the issues that people are going to be focused on around the Commonwealth going forward. Now, as with regard to what Allison needs to do, I agree with Jennifer, the focus on making sure that women um, uh, turn out to vote and then come home uh, to the Democratic Party. One of the things, though, you pointed out, you said that uh, Senator McConnell is only a point behind it, as it relates to women. One of the things to keep in mind when you're looking at polling that has been done mm -hmm. recently, um, polling hasn't caught up to mm -hmm. the way modern people are living today. And so by doing that, it's leaving out a lot of young women who overwhelmingly tend to vote for uh, the Democratic Party. And so I think Allison will serve herself well, continuing to reach out to those voters, continuing to reach out to um, the, the base of the, Af of the, uh, of the uh, party, and that being in the African-American community, whether it be in Jefferson County, whether it be in Fayette County, Northern Kentucky, or whether it be uh, down in the purchase area. The last 13 polls have Senator McConnell ahead, with the exception of one, and that being the one that Allison Grimes' pollster uh, put out. And so she has a, a big problem. She does have a big problem with women uh, as well. And Jennifer talks a lot about uh, women running, but she's really indicating Democrat women because ultimately we have 14 Republican women on the ballot as well. And what I'll, I think is interesting, too, is that of the emerged Kentucky candidates uh, who are on the ballot, uh, most of them are either uh, slated to either lose or are in a toss-up to where there's a good chance they're going to lose. Uh, and so... But when you look at the Republican women, people like Julie Rocky Adams, 
uh, in, in uh, Louisville, or Julie Denton, for example, who just came out of the Senate. She's going to Metro Council to meet with uh, Councilman Tandy. Uh, we have some strong Republican women there, too. So Senator McConnell's done a great job there. I don't know what Allison Grimes' problem is with women voters. Jennifer may be able to answer that. I, you would think uh, when you looked at this race last year, November 5th, we kind of talked about how if, if she was doing well with women, it would be a, a, a close race. She's just not doing well with women, and I don't know why, uh, but Jennifer, you may know why she may not be doing so well with women. Well, she's actually doing well with women. There isn't a problem with women voters. When you look at the record of Mitch McConnell over the last 30 years, and he, he was first elected back in 1984. I was not, I was, actually, I was getting ready to turn 10 years old when he was first elected to the United States Senate. Um, and when you look at his record, he has voted against equal pay for equal work four times. Senator McConnell does not believe that women should earn the same amount for the same, amount, same type of work as men. He's voted against it four times. He's voted against increasing the minimum wage 17 times. And that disproportionately affects single mothers in Kentucky. And so to hear the record of Mitch McConnell, it's not pro-women, it's not it's not pro-family. And Allison will continue to carry that message that she will go to Washington, raise the minimum wage, that she will fight to protect women and children in this commonwealth. And you're going to see women turn out for her. Now, I have to, I I have to take issue. Hold on one second, John. I've got to say one thing about... I think you to back up about that, though. Nobody has fought harder in the United States Senate for all Kentuckians than Mitch McConnell has. Over all those years and all the experience that he has had, and he's protected... You know, he, he saved 99% of all Kentuckians, a huge tax increase that was being proposed by the Democrats and the President of the United States, Barack Obama. You know, and you talk about minimum wage or equal pay for women and that sort of thing. The problem is, as soon as you do that, who loses jobs? Women. Every economist in, a, in America has said that. So then far. why does he vote against raising the minimum wage, which would bring single women up and poor women, women up? Because it does hurts not. Them. No, it, it does not. The it, studies do not the studies. show that they at do. all. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, and then, do. then why does Kentucky rank at the bottom? Then, if, bottom, if Mitch McConnell is so powerful, what has his power done for us in the last thirty years? It's done absolutely nothing. No, it's for protected us. the country in a, in a major way. It has put Kentucky at the forefront on a number of issues that relates to national defense, as relates to jobs and creation that he's promoted. You know, there's nobody that's carried the banner for Kentucky better than Mitch McConnell has. But the 